When you are using photographs on your social media, you don't always get them from the same place. There are a whole host of different um, photo stock sites and free photographic sites. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hard to make it feel very cohesive when you're using lots of different places to get your images from. So one way that you can tackle this is to create a library of um, photographs which you pull together in one sitting using the same search terms which then whenever you want to create content using photos you can use this and you don't have to search um, as you're going along not only will this make it quicker when you're creating your content um, it will also make it cohesive so I'm going to show you how I go about doing that for the purposes of today's tutorial I am going to be using Unsplash but there are a whole host of um, websites, whether that's paid for subscriptions or free sites to get your photos from. Um, you must remember that when you use other people's photographs, if you're reusing them from somewhere like um, Instagram, you must get permission from the person who you're reposting from. And if you're taking them from sites like Unsplash, you need to double check that the license allows you to use it for commercial use. So you, on all of them, you use your search bar to search for images. But where do you start? Now, the way that I do it is I have between 10 and 15 search terms specific to my business. Now, the first five or so, I want you to choose search terms which are brand based on terms of color. So for me, that's blue, yellow, purple, pink. Um, teal, green, just use colours to search. So let's just look for yellow. So as you can see, if you just search with your brand colour, it brings up a whole selection of colours within, like hues within that one colour search, which you can start picking out which one's the most appropriate for your um, brand. The next set of hashtags I want you to use are specific to your business. So this could be things like computer, laptop, knitting, um, uh, craft, artwork, just five or so hashtags which are really specific to what you do and what you post about. What do you want to be an expert in? What do you want people to know you for? And use those up to five hashtags for that search. So, for example, if I decided to do laptop, because I quite often post about that, I also cover everything on social media. It will then bring up all the laptop images. Now, the third set are your incidental hashtags. Um, for me, it would be something like tea, coffee, holiday, um, family, find things which you, you quite often talk about which aren't necessarily related to your niche. You may not have five within this and that's fine. But let's say that we decide for coffee and as you can see it will then bring up all the different coffees um, which help make your feed feel more personal. So once you have those up to about 15 search terms and there's a reason I cap it at 15. Um, every month or so everyone's going to be uploading loads more images and you want to you want your feed to feel current and have newer images on um, and one way to do that is you repeat the search terms so you're up to 15 search hashtags to find different images that come up um, because if you are on social media a fair amount you do tend to spot the same images being used and there's nothing wrong with that I do it too. I have some that I love and I just keep using and I know other people do. But I also want to stand out to people on social media. And part of that is finding some more unusual images. So let's go with the yellow search. What you're going to do, and you're going to repeat this for every single image. So find one you like. And download. Now, this is the next important step. 
although crediting isn't required, it's really nice if you can just tweet them when you find really good images. It just helps the people who are giving away their content for free. But also, you need to double check that the license is suitable for you to use for commercial use. Unsplash is a fairly safe site, and I know that that's fine. What I want you to do next is print the screen. And this means that you have a record that you took this photograph, um, gives you the time and the date stamped down here. Um, and this is when it was was taken. So I'm just going to switch over and if I find my screenshots. Let's just do this one as an example. It's got my time and my date stamp, where I've taken it from and also um, the information there that I don't need to credit. And that is really important. And what I want you to do after doing one is just go through all of them. Keep scrolling down all through the yellow ones, download and print screen every single image within the colours that you choose. So you go through whatever brand colours, whether it's pink, baby pink, green, sage, whatever hues you've got within your brand colours. And then you repeat it for all 15, up to 15 of your search hashtags. You will end up with a lot of images and that's the point. So with your screenshots, I want you to put them in one single folder and then you don't need to do anything else with them. That is just going to keep them separate, saved, and should anything happen, you hear the stories where someone says, oh, you've used my image without permission, you at least have some proof that you used it in good faith and you have a record of when and where you got it from. OK, so you've got all of your images saved. We know what we're doing with the screenshots. They're just being kept to the side. So what you will end up with, if I find it here, is a whole folder. You obviously put them in your download folder, just put them in a separate folder here. And as you scroll through, this is my one I've created you get a real feel of whether images are fitting with your brand or not. Delete the ones which you know just really jar and don't really fit. Um, you may decide to categorize them within this folder if that's helpful. I tend to keep them all together because I always like to have an overview of the images I'm looking for. And that's it. So the next time you're posting on social media and you think, right, what image am I going to use? You use this. You don't need to search a site specifically. You do sometimes, obviously, if there's a particular thing you need to, to display. But on the whole, you should be able to find what you're looking for from this because you've used search terms which are on brand for your colour, within your niche or your field, and also the social side of things that you post about. So there you are, you can just use all of those images and I've got a fair, I've probably got two months worth there. And then you can either reuse them or in after those two months have another search and find some newer images that have been uploaded. There are a whole host of um, sites that you can, you can use. Photos. So there's a list there of all the ones that I use. Um, Pause the video, take a screenshot if you need to. I also have this list up um, on my Facebook group. So if you need to um, get the list and you want the actual clickable links, then you can just find them over there. But that's the, that's the stock photos that I use. And the most used ones in terms of free stock is Pexels Unsplash. Um, Pixabay is another one, which I don't think I've got listed on there, but yeah, Pixabay is another one. And that's it. So that's how you create a evergreen catalogue of stock images.